So basically what we've got behind me is uh, the most advanced and safest uh, maritime uh, battlefield helicopter in the world. So the game changing capability that this aircraft has over the Mark III is primarily its ability to fold its head and fold its tail. And that means that when we take it to sea on board HMS Queen Elizabeth, the new aircraft carrier, we can get four of these in the space it will take the RF to stow one Chinook. And that means that we can pack a far greater punch for the, any given unit of space. Uh, we can fly further with the aircraft, we can cram more in it. And from a pilot's perspective, the technology in the cockpit is, uh, is an absolute game changer. The way we interact with it is far more efficient. The aircraft are almost ready, it's almost completely good to go. But from our perspective, some of the missions that we're training for are, they're not so much new to us, but they are a capability that we're really bringing out from, uh, from the course for some of them. Uh, we've got deployed search and rescue, and we've got the rescue of down fast jet aircrew and a maritime interest there to lift. Jobs that we've always done, but we're going to be doing a lot more of, and it's that special specialist training that we're working on uh, with a view to the deploying on the carrier. So there are a total of 25 aircraft to deliver. There's 10 this year, there's six next year, and the remaining aircraft in 2020. Uh, and Leonardo's are a company that are very used to delivering major modifications to aircraft and then delivering them back into service. Um, and there's a total of six aircraft already on that production line uh, down in Yeovil. Uh, they are being delivered to time, they're being delivered to capability, and just as importantly, they're being delivered to cost as well. So whilst there will always be some challenges uh, in a project of this complexity, uh, I believe that we've got exactly the right people who are experts in their field to overcome any of the challenges and make sure that we're delivering all of the equipment and the spares and the simulation uh, support and all of the other uh, defence lines of development uh, that are going to be required to make sure that all of those aircraft are delivered and then full operational capability is reached uh, in 2023.